Please prepare for a moment of silence. Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Happy Monday, Chieftains. It's Doyle and Jaden with your high school news. So as always, let's jump right into it. Starting us off today, Picture Day. It's today. Indeed. So make sure you've dressed up nice today. Picture Day forms have been sent to your English teachers, so you can pick them up there or order online at Focus School Photography with the online code SAPALPA23. And for you seniors watching, caps and gowns will be provided for your pictures, so don't fret. Also, if you're not here, don't worry. Picture Makeup Day will be October 16th. On Wednesday, September 13th, FCA will meet during lunch in the auditorium. And if you don't want to miss lunch, there's no need to worry, as food will be provided. For more information or any questions, email Coach Hendrickson. Later this week, a day later in fact, homecoming dance tickets go on sale this Thursday, September 14th. The dance is open to sophomores, juniors, and seniors. Guest forms will be available and need to be approved by Ms. Zimmerman. Tickets are $10, and they will be on sale before school and during lunch at the snack bar. You can also purchase tickets from Mrs. Zimmerman in room 802. Good to know. And speaking of events, Coach Dugan is sponsoring a trip to Belize in June of 2024. If you're interested and would like to know more, stop by his room, room 421, or shoot him an email, cdugan at sepulpaps.org. Continuing on the topic of events, 7 a.m. Monday, September 18th, our beloved Sepulpa administrators, from our superintendent to our principals, and hey, even Mr. Rose, will be competing to see who's the best shot in the district. Now, take note, this is a fundraiser and they'll be shooting air rifles. But how do we see this amazing, spectacular event that's yet to happen? I'm glad you asked. Tickets will be sold on Wednesday in the morning at the ticket booths across from the high school gym and from any JROTC cadet. Now, you can also vote on who you think will win, and if you choose correctly, then you'll get, drum roll please, an extra two minutes onto your lunch. Of course, spectators are welcome to come and watch, and will, Chieftain TV, be broadcasting the whole thing. Moving swiftly on to sports. We hosted a cross-country meet last weekend with over 35 schools over at the Westside Sports Complex. The Sepulpa Varsity boys won the meet, led by an individual win by Brian Sloan, along with medalist finishers Titus Ellis, Clayton McCullough, Isaac Meza, Skylar Stevens, and Kyle Hott. While the Sepulpa Varsity girls, as runner-up, led by our medalists Jasmine Brown, Destiny Miller, Lainey Madden, and Lindsey Dennison, and be ready to support our team next week at their next race at Guthrie. On the topic of sports, after school today, both our fast pitch varsity and junior varsity softball teams compete with Grove here at 5 p.m. And a little later at 6, our junior varsity football team will be going against Bartlesville, also here. Tomorrow, Tuesday, September 12th at 6.30 p.m., our varsity volleyball team will be competing against Bartlesville here. On Thursday, September 14th at 5 p.m., our junior varsity and varsity fast pitch softball will be playing here against Coweta. Finally. Also on Thursday, the 14th, Varsity Volleyball will be going against Locust Grove here at 6.30 p.m. And sorry, Chieftains, there will be no football this week as Pulpa has a bye. And as always, we hope you enjoyed and have a real good week, Chieftains.